So we have analyzed export facile. We have also analyzed a solution developed by Brazil, which is called importer facile. We have identified the gaps to be filled in at the UPU level in terms of operational uh, processes, in terms of supply chain tools, in, cha in, in terms of cooperation model for all postal organizations to be working together for the same objective, delivering performance to uh, uh, companies in any country. And we came out with some recommendations that we have discussed with Brazil and other countries that have adopted exporter facile and importer facile. And we have identified where we can add value to those initiatives to make sure that worldwide companies will have access to good, easy export solutions, easy import solutions. It is very important for the UPU because we are dealing with universal service delivery network to make sure that all of the parties involved in service delivery will be acting on performance and accountability. This means that capacity building, transferring knowledge is very important. The initiative from Brazil is a very good one that we need to transfer to other countries so that other postal operators in those countries will be able to deliver easy export solutions. But we know that within the universal service delivery network, there are strong links, there are also weak links, that is due to the level of development and to the level of capacity at national level. And through our technical cooperation strategy, we need to make sure that the weakest links in the service delivery network, we will be able to assist them to build up the capacities to be in a position to also deliver to the national economies, but also to the rest of the world. There is one thing that is very important. We don't talk about it much. We have to acknowledge that the success of any national postal operator depends also on the performance of all actors in the chain. This means that if the post in Brazil is very good, that is actually the case, I congratulate Brazil for that, but sending goods to many countries if the postal operator there is not good enough, the customer, the exporting small and medium company in Brazil will suffer from the quality of service at the other end. End to end service delivery through high standard quality of service. Committing all of the partners is a challenge that we at the UPU, we want to uh, take care of. Thank you very much. عياد من صحيفة العرب القطرية. عياد. From Qatar. I have a very brief question. Is there an Arab country which has wanted to adopt this product, or whether Brazil has a, a proposed this product to a, an Arab country? Thank you. Many countries have sought cooperation. Not one country specifically, though. It's our intention is to develop a methodology which will uh, support uh, Arab countries that wish to introduce uh, export of facile. From our point of view, I'm speaking in Portuguese now. I'm sorry. 
we can't lose sight of the facts that when we talk about introducing export of Fasil, we need to take account of the fact that each country has a different export of Fasil from its neighbors. We're not talking about introducing export of Fasil in a unified manner in the same way as it's been introduced in Brazil. We're talking in South America, for example, about taking stock of the local conditions and look what needs to be done beforehand uh, in terms of uh, infrastructure, because the postal infrastructure might not be ready for the introduction of export of Vasil, and we need to develop a tailor-made uh, product for each country. When we talk about uh, small enterprises in Brazil, we'd be really surprised uh, with things that happen following introduction of a program. There are big businesses which also use export of Vasil they use this to uh, export small volumes, for example, in the car sector. I'd like to take the opportunity to talk about another aspect here. It's a very important aspect. We want to develop a set of other products in conjunction with other countries. It, with the United Arab Emirates, for example, uh, 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 pro projects involving e-commerce and customs and uh, the opportunity through this uh, project to work with the UPU, we can integrate this with other projects and will allow each country to achieve the desired results afterwards. Okay. Over there. Do we have a similar situation with the Gulf countries as a whole, can we have the Latin American countries as a whole? Could we find an appropriate solution for the Gulf countries as a whole? I think the export of Fasil is a good solution for the countries of the Gulf. For a country which wishes to strengthen its small enterprise sector and wants products to be uh, exported through its channel, I think it's an excellent uh, solution for Latin American region, for the countries of the Gulf too, of course. Brazil, uh, the countries uh, of the Gulf region, should want to develop the export of Fasil uh, in conjunction with the UPU. And I think we can do some very good work by working uh, together on this. I will make just one comment. Uh, at a UPU level, now that we have adopted a resolution about making easy export solution universal throughout the postal network. The UPU will develop programs to make sure that all regions will be able to access solutions in terms of easy export. And the UPU is working also with Brazil. We do have a memorandum of understanding uh, whereby we will be working all together to make sure that the UPU regional programs will be able to design specific technical cooperation activities to support all countries in the specific regions. Thank you. Just a final comment. The exporter Fasil project is good for all countries. I forgot to mention before when I spoke that it generates employments. In many countries, there are people who aren't able to work on a stable basis at the moment. And there are groups of people getting together, craftsmen, and uh, they're producing, actually, far more than can be exported at the moment. And this is one of the essential aspects of Export of Fasil project. It allows the volumes of goods exported to be increased. Thank you. Uh, maybe uh, Brazil uh, Export Fasil is, is it the only initiative that you are supporting? And my second question is, uh, what the level of support you provide generally to maybe to developing countries, and if you have an example of supporting one or two countries, can you cite it, please? In the 
easy export solution area, we are actually not supporting Brazil, but we are working with Brazil to take advantage of their knowledge and the processes they have put in place. So Brazil is a partner for us in that uh, specific program. The, you may know that at the UPU level, there is a very important directorate in charge of technical cooperation that is called, if I remember, cooperation directorate responsible for cooperation to development. And at that level, we do have regional programs focusing on specific regions, including Arab countries, uh, African countries, uh, Latin America, and Caribbean, uh, uh, East Europe, uh, Asia. So we have programs tailored to take, to act on the specific needs of the many countries in those specific regions. And the support given by the UPU in uh, uh, the technical cooperation area will embrace many things uh, from uh, supply chain tools to be put in place, capacity building in terms of uh, knowledge, uh, operational things such as quality of service improvement, development of new products and services. There are many, many areas where the UPU, the International Bureau, is supporting the developing countries. And the support given to the developing countries is sometimes also tailored to their specific needs because in those regions, not all countries are equal in terms of demand, in terms of needs, in terms of requirements. So if you go through the UPU, you will find your way through and you will find the people who will be able to address your specific needs. Regarding easy export solutions, we at the UPU level, we have not started yet to support the member countries and the direct postal operators to put in place easy export solutions because in the past what we did, we were working with Brazil to identify, to understand what it is, to know where we need to add value, and to compare the solutions to the specific needs of countries. And we came out with specific proposals for Congress to consider, and we are happy enough to see that Congress has adopted the, the recommendation by the, by the International Bureau and the UPU, by the POC, of course. And the next period, starting 1st January next work will be implementation, design first of programs for uh, member countries and implementation to make sure that all countries willing to progress will be able to implement easy export solution in their own environment with the support of those countries that have the experience such as Brazil and other Latin American countries that have adopted export of facilities.